Happy Sunday, YouTube. This is Dr. Wanda, and I have another exciting investment for you all. So this one is for the Repat as well as the Native. And um, it turns out that goats are one of Ghana's best-kept secrets. And I don't even want to just say Ghana, even Africa. It is the best-kept secret in terms of investment. So we hear about the chickens. We hear about the cows. We definitely hear about the piggeries. But who knew how valuable that stubborn goat is? And it turns out that it's actually a very valued meat. So um, here's how it works. I have a project. It, for $40, really it's $50, you can buy a goat. If you have a, a very intelligent, uh, sharp, you know, well-trained shepherd, then she'll recognize that it's a pregnant goat and try to get you a, a, a goat that's already pregnant. But it doesn't matter. You want that female goat. The female goat will give birth twice a year. The first time she ever gives birth is only going to be one. After that, she will give birth to multiples, okay? Most times two, occasionally three goats. So you can already see where the numbers add up. All right. The black goat is valued for rituals. The neutered uh, male goat is meat. And usually if in, in Ghana, you can't buy that goat for less than 100 US dollars. It's a very valued piece of meat, okay? And I've eaten quite a bit of goat in Ghana. Um, but even when you get in the amount of meat in the, in the soup, it's usually not a lot. You don't, it's, it's never full of just goat meat. Okay, so um, one of the benefits besides that is that uh, it's low maintenance. There's not a lot of extra work that you have to put into the goat. It is sort of an a independent animal, meaning that they roam. You know, you tag them. You put a nice tag on them. Uh, sometimes they do it the traditional way. I know in Tanzania they're still using the tattoo method. But they, they have ways to tag them so that they know it's their goat and it doesn't get stolen. They're highly intelligent. They will go out and roam and do whatever it is they do. But they do know home, and they do recognize their shepherd. They're not um, going to be easy to steal with someone that doesn't know them, especially the ones with them horns. Um, you're going to get yourself in some trouble messing with them. So... Uh, it's a lot to this goat. So listen, the goat is valuable for its meat, which is lean and delicious and nutritious. But then it also is valuable for its milk. There are certain breeds that, that that's what they use them for, goat milk. Where uh, in America, we don't really drink it, but places like Bangladesh, um, sort of in the Asiatic areas, and some of the, the, um, the uh, more... Well, I can't think of the countries now, but they drink goat milk. They value goat milk, and it is it they and it's a better milk um, from all research than even cow's milk. Okay, because they don't have to homogenize it; it's already naturally homogenized. So those that that fat source is already there. Um, what do I need to tell you else about these goats? Uh, yeah, you can make a get a herd of them pretty rapidly because. Of the fact that, yeah, they're around everywhere. They, they have lots of babies a year, at least enough for you to build. That female is valuable. You never kill her. You, you save her. Um, December is a very popular month for goats. People are looking for goats. They're eating goats. This is, this is a hard time to even buy goats because, yeah, they're, they're going. This is a, a, so if you didn't do anything but hold until December and decide to sell your goats, you'd make a little bit of money, okay? And, of course, how much money you make in this industry is based off of the number of goats. So you have to decide how deeply you want to invest in this um, and whether or not you have land. Do you have land? Do, are, are you going to set up um, some sort of wooden structure and have a spot where they can roam, or are you working with a shepherd? Me, I am working with a shepherd, someone that I respect and I love, who is a longtime um, goat herder. She knows her stuff. This is what she do. Now, she's unschooled. She does not speak English, but this is what she do. So I don't bother people when they have an expertise, just like I'm an educator. I've been doing this now 34 years. We're not finna debate. If you feel like you know something that I don't know, okay, God bless you. 
go, go, go along your way. That's how I treat this woman. She knows her stuff, and I give her mad respect. She was excited when I asked her what, what, how could I start a project with her. Um, this is win-win because now we have an elder entrepreneur, and you have a, a, a novice. I don't, you know, I'm getting into an area that the Lord kind of inspired me to ask the question, and I found out that, like, no, that's a pretty good question. And what made me ask was that she cooked me some gold. And when she offered to, you know, cook me a gold a couple of years ago, I was like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've had a Jamaican's gold, and I like gold, and I like curry gold. But baby, she cooked that gold. And, and, and she smoked that gold, and she put them herbs and spices and that ginger and garlic and all that stuff she put on there. And I have not stopped talking about this woman's gold. A friend of mine had an opportunity to eat her gold, and she is still asking me, for gold. So that's what got me turned on to the gold. So this is a major, major investment. $50 will get you the goat. Plus they need a, um, they give them some cassava tablets. That's just something that's nutritional for them. And then goats um, have a, a predis, they have a, a tendency or have the potential to get internal parasites. So there's certain medications that they give them because these parasites become deadly for them. So there's certain um, medications that they give them a couple of times a year. They're not expensive, but you have to be on top of your goat. They have to be caring for the goats, okay? Um, what I want to tell you about the goats, the goats, Listen, this is how good of a deal this is. If you were buying it out of Africa, the neutered goat, the neutered male is 100 US dollars, okay? The buck, which is considered unneutered, is 150 to 200 US dollars, and the female is 250 to 300 dollars. We're getting a goat for 50 dollars. 50 dollars the cassava tablets, plus her medication, and I'm asking everybody to give a love offering to the shepherd because she really didn't want anything from me. She was honored to help, but I said, no, 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 no. Let this be business. Um, but I'm saying, listen, we know. Once you know, then you do what's right. So we, we're giving a love offering that would be divided among the people. Now, I built me a team of seven, okay, uh, and I, I'm calling them the Magnificent Seven. So I'm, I'm, I have already started this project. I'm very excited about it. I look to just see spiritually who the goat was. The goat is symbolic of independence and faith. And it says these are the virtues that also earn them, the, the, as spiritual animals, the reputation worthy of sacrifice. Because I have always wondered, why do they always sacrifice a goat? And it turns out because of those virtuous qualities, they are seen, they are seen as worthy to um, sacrifice, to use as an offering. I also thought it was interesting biblically where that goat stood. And I looked at Genesis 27, 9, and it said, Go now to the flock and bring me two choice young goats from there that I may pr um, prepare them as a savory dish for your father. So that's coming directly from scripture. And then there's a scripture where it explains that 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 the, that the uh, that Jesus will have a sheep on one side and a goat on the other. And so these are seen as 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 equally valued animals. I said, "Wow, this goat. I see that goat running through chewing and 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 walking and chewing in the the, the, the um, kid goat running alongside the mother. I remember being in South Africa with Gia and I heard the goats crying, and it sounded so much like a child, I got upset. And uh, me and her laugh about it. I said, oh, they don't, whatever they do, don't need to beat that child. Whatever they're doing to that kid. And it turned out to be a daggone goat, okay? So um, there's, there's a lot of interesting things to learn and know about goats. But for this video, I'm telling you, whether it's with me or somebody else, you want to look into investing in goats it is the next best thing the biggest secret that's happening they're easy to maintain you can get a shepherd 
or you can get you some land and just if you're living here and decide to shepherd yourself they have some interesting ways to tag them it's like a little clip on that they put onto their ears so you'll know that it's your goat if you tag them then you can keep up with their pregnancies with their um, with their cassava tablets with their medication with that good rich hay if you decide to get that for them um, but yeah you can keep up with your project and you can include others and not mix um, your 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 goat with somebody else's goat but um, this is worth investigating people this is worth knowing about so I've given you a tip of, of a of a best kept secret in Ghana let's see what you do with this with this information and um, I'm signing off